Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very quick tutorial about how to convert your Java-based edition world into Bedrock Windows 10 worlds. Okay, so I'm going to show you the world that we're going to start off with in Java edition. I've got an, a Roman city over here uh, and this city was developed by uh, Blockworks originally uh, and then uh, kind of monkeyed about by myself <laughs> and uh, and also uh, Adrian Brightmore as well. Um, it was I was commissioned to make this for a museum in Exeter, and I thought it's great. It works really well on Java Edition Minecraft, and you can download it and stuff like that right now. But it'd be great to have it on iOS and tablets and also and Windows 10, and and maybe even you can play with your friends on Xbox too. To do that, we're going to need a tool. Now there are kind of a, a variety variety pack of tools out there but the one that I use and my favorite tool at the moment is called MCC tool chest it's just up here if you could look at my desktop you can see I've got kind of a range of different uh, Minecraft tools up here as well so I'm going to just uh, I'm just going to double click this one and open it up show you what it looks like so it looks like a fairly boring box uh, with file edit tools help it's got tools and it's got convert uh, from PC here but it's like oh please open a world prior to converting so in actual fact, what you need to do is you need to create a Windows 10 world uh, to start with that you're going to convert from Java into that world. Okay, So you've got to start off with something from scratch, if you like, on Windows 10. So I'm going to go into my Windows 10 uh, Minecraft uh, Bedrock Edition, and we're going to create a blank world. I'm going to create new now, create new world. Uh, I'm going to call it, uh, um, what should I call it, uh, Rome. I think I'll call it Roman Roman City. Okay, there's Roman City. It's going to be creative. Continue. Difficulty peaceful. I don't want any mobs starting in there as well. We're going to make it a flat world as well. I'm going to create that right now. Fingers crossed. That all gets created. Some music. So there's our blank world that we're going to be converting into. I'm going to just save and quit that. Okay, don't need to see it anymore. Uh, close that window there. Now I'm going to open up MCC tool chest and go file, open, and there's our Roman city. Okay, so I'm going to open that one. And now I can go into my tools. I'm going to go tools, convert from PC. And now we want to kind of find that world, the Roman world. Okay, so it is uh, Ramcraft, I believe it's called Ramcraft. Down here, Ramcraft Roman city. Okay, there it is. We've got some uh, some things. We can convert the overworld, the nether, the end. I'm just going to do the overworld. Include block entities and entities. Leave that as it is. Uh, replace biomes or replace blocks. The blocks are like, for example, I'll go from that to this. Uh, and that's for things like, you know, certain Java stuff does not convert over. So it often kind of does it to all. I just keep that as it is uh, and make sure it's, it's done. Then I press convert. Doodle -do, doodle -do. Okay, it's just converting all that kind of stuff as, as, as we go. It's not a very big world. If it's really, really big, it takes a little bit more time. We're going to close that one over there. And then we're going to go File, Save. And we're done. Okay, let's go down to um, Bedrock. And opens up there. And we're going to press Play. And Ramcraft Roman Survival there. The thumbnail is the same because it's used the same thumbnail as before. But let's see what happens. Well, I'm, fl I'm falling, I'm falling, falling, falling. Fly up a little bit. So you might be saying, well, where's my world? Where is it? And it is, because it was in a void world anyway, so it's converted at blank areas. So let's go, let's just TP to um, 1, 100, 1. Let's see if I can find it. So it is here somewhere. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do, uh, let's set my video. Right. You generally kind of get uh, to put to the corner of your build. Zoom game. Let's get the weather sorted out as well. Weather clear. I uh, should be able to see a bit. Well, there it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's some stuff over there too. Ah, oh, there it is. Cool. So, in the world, there was obviously 
there was some building stuff that happened over there. This is you can see in the distance. There's our flat world as well. There's a big kind of area of nothingness in the in the in the uh, just below us. Come on, let's fly faster. And we'll go and see our world. You obviously don't get teleported. You don't get put into the same place as before. That's okay. I mean, I think you will see that it has worked. So we'll just sort of jump over the top of the big wall. And there's our Roman city. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Let's go and have a look in. I actually love the rendering of uh, Windows 10 as well. Uh, over Java, actually. It just looks... I don't know. I don't know what they've done, but it looks great. Come on, fast. <laughs> you see all the little farmlands down here. All the water looks great because this is uh, the aquatic update. Um, there are some sheep being spawned in. There's some temples and stuff. I think um, most of the other kind of bits and pieces. There were some entities, entities that uh, I sometimes get brought in and whatnot. But anyway, there you go. A an astonishing conversion, and look how quick it took. I mean, that, uh, there's no editing in this. It's just straight off off the bat. You can kind of see how quickly it done. Oh, actually, look the uh, the villagers were brought through. These were villagers that were actually uh, in the previous version. Uh, there were loads of villagers sort of about, so they've all been uh, brought over. They're not wearing their Roman outfits anymore, but uh, we might be able to update that with a texture pack in the future. So there we go. It's weirdly as simple as that, okay? So just re-watch this video, go through all the steps that I went through, uh, and if you have any other problems, let me know in the comment section below, and I look forward to seeing uh, what you kind of uh, get up to later on. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, all the links for all the software, uh, MCC tool chest is in the in the description below, so do go and have a look for that as well. Take care. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, bye!